I've lived in the Wasatch Mountains, north of Salt Lake City, for over 70 years. I've always noticed that when we have large winters, I see an increased number of Stellar's Jays. The past seven years, we've been in extreme drought, and I'm lucky if I see one or two of these beautiful birds during the winter months. This year, in October, Stellar's Jays arrived in large numbers. I wondered, do they know something? Are we in for a big winter? Sure enough, the winter of 2022 set records in the state of Utah, receiving over 800 inches of snow on the highest peaks of the Wasatch Mountains. The Stellar's Jay is a bird native to Western North America and the mountains of Central America, closely related to the Blue Jay found in Eastern North America. It is also known as the Long Crested Jay, Mountain Jay, and Pine Jay. It is the only Crested Jay west of the Rocky Mountains. Both sexes are alike. The male is slightly larger. Spotted towhees. The Stellar's Jay is a resident from coastal southern Alaska, east through British Columbia, and southward from the Pacific coast to the Rocky Mountains, south through Mexico, and into Central America wanders further east during the winters and has been seen as far as Kansas. Its preferred habitat includes conifer forests and deciduous forests. We also have regular visitors year-round of the Western Scrub Jay or Woodhouse's Scrub Jay. Stellar's Jays arrived before the snow even came, so how they know, I, who knows, but I knew we were ready to get hit because this is a record number of Stellar's Jays that we've had at the feeders this year that normally you only see one or two, but as I said, from my past growing up as a child, on huge snow years, we had tons of Stellar's Jays and they arrived early this year, so I was prepared for it. Beautiful, isn't it? a northern flicker, and a female Cassin's finch.
Can the Stellar Jays actually predict a hard winter? Maybe, but I like to think so.